G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to IL2 Great Battles and the 10 Days of Autumn campaign. This is mission number 9, a change of plans and you're about to see why. I hope you enjoy. Mission cancelled, cover the airfield. Oh, hello. Those are MiG-3s. I think those are MiG-3s. Speed, shit, they're moving. Looks like he's taking hits from somebody else as well. He's not looking good. Second 109's on him as well. That looks like black smoke. Whoa, that was a big dip. He's down. That's one. Right, that's the second one on my left. Engagement happening there. Alright, that's one kill. If I keep pushing the engine like this, I'm going to blow it to pieces. Looks like we're through the first meter on the uh, cannon ammo as well, which is not good. Um, yep. Ah, I can't pull enough to pull lead. There was definite hits there. Yep, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Ah, there he is, first engine damaged. Uh, is he going in? He's going in. That's two. Whoa! I think he just took out one of our anti-aircraft guns on the way down. Whoa! And... That's less than promising. Come on.
shit. Well, at least it's not a long walk back to base. Alright, ladies and gents, so that was short and sweet. So, as you're about to find out in the live comms, Mission 9 was meant to be a recon mission. However, the base attack sort of got things a bit mixed up. So this time, we're rolling out and attempting to do that again. I'll go through the briefing in the live comms and hope you enjoy. Get it straight and get the nose down. I'll uh, go through our mission briefing once we are off the ground. Rotate and gear up. And let's back the engines off. We'll get back to continuous at about 60%. Alright, so for this particular mission, we are doing precisely what we were supposed to do in Mission 9 before we were attacked. We're going to be doing a recon of railway stations on the Soviet side of the Volga. So first step, we're going to get south of Kalinin here. Once we're sort of south of the bridge, which is just there, we're going to turn due north until we sort of cross a railway line and hit a small town or a small cluster of buildings near a railway line next to a large forest. And at that point, we're going to turn due west and start working our way over to the railway lines. Now, this mission is slightly different to the one that we were going to be doing in Mission 9. The primary change between this and the last one is that... Probably a little bit more that way, actually. I'm sure we'll be able to see the town and the uh, forest from here. Um, the, the attack on the Migalovo airfield in the last mission was the final straw for command. They've decided to abandon the Migalovo airfield. It's too close to the front line, it's under constant artillery fire, it's constantly being strafed and bombed, and it's just not viable as a forward operating base. So we're relocating to a small dirt airfield south of Kalinia. That's a cluster of buildings next door forest, so due east, or due west rather, here. Roll them out. Okay, so maintain west from here and we should hit our next objective. So yeah, we will be relocating. So our mission profile for this one, if I quickly bring up the map, although you won't be able to see it, uh, we will be leaving, uh, going from Kalinian. We've made our turn to the north of Kalinian. We're heading for a town called Meadow. Now, Meadow has a river next to it with a bridge crossing. When we hit that location... I'll right, just quickly get back west. We're not quite staying there where I wanted to. Uh, when we hit that town, we're going to follow the, the road that crosses the bridge and then put that road on our right wing and it will take us all the way to Torazok, which is where our first train station is. Second train station and third are due south directly from there. So our objective is to disrupt enemy communications and uh, logistics lines. So we're looking for convoys, we're looking for trains in particular, if we can take the trains out, disable them, stop them from moving anything like that, that's our objective for this mission. We don't have any bombs, we'll probably turn the uh, navigation lights off, we don't have any bombs so we're not going to be able to destroy any engines. Uh, the locomotives are going to be safe from us, a 15mm cannon and rifle calibre ammunition is just not sufficient for that, but we should be able to pop the carriages, so if we can pop the carriages behind the locomotive, the locomotive will be able to move, but the carriages, uh, they won't. And if we're lucky and we pop a carriage right behind the locomotive while it's moving, uh, if we happen to come across one, we may potentially derail it. And that looks like a convoy. That is, that's trucks with softbacks heading to the front line. We could pop those, but I'd rather save it for the trains. Uh, 
Right, so this is the town of Menho, and that is our bridge across the river. And we want to put that road on our right wing. This road should lead us directly to our, uh, I just realised I've got a bunch of aircraft on me and I just did a roll so they're probably all over the sky. This, uh, this road should take us directly to the train station. Once again, it looks like we've got a convoy down there. Soft pack trucks. Likely unloaded from the train station and again heading to the front line. Yep, yeah, there they are. They're back. Alright, this is looking like a town. So this must be Torzok. And road runs through there, and that looks like a train station. And that looks like carriages. I think there's a train there. There is, in fact, a train there. Alright. Well, time to go to work. Wrong one, we don't want the landing gear down. We want flaps at about 25 to 30. And there is the train. God, that's easy to spot in VR. That smoke really stands out. Alright. And we're taking shots from, looks like, the rear carriage. Oh, that one exploded. Whoa, and we're taking shots here. Get Mags destroyed train passenger car. Alright, perfect. Flaps up. No, oh, we're getting some uh getting some more serious fight coming off that at the moment. Quite serious flight coming off that at the moment. I think we might have pissed them off. But that is fine with me. That thing's not going to be going anywhere for a while anyway. So, uh, due south are already lined up. We have a train. We have a train that is not at a station. And so he's not surrounded by anti-aircraft guns. Uh, this is going to be too sh nah, it's going to be too short for a good attack. Big wide circle. We'll come back around on it. I should have gone wider if I wanted to be able to get a straight and back quickly. There it is. Um, yeah, I might be able to get a crack in it before it hits that clump of trees. That clump of trees will be a pain in the ass to shoot through. That's going to be bad enough. I think I got shots on target, but not enough. Now that large group of trees hopefully will be on to hit it. 
bright as it clears. Come on, come out, come out wherever you are. Yeah, it's still not a great angle. So I'm making a bit of a bit of a dog's breakfast out of this attack. Oh, every single time it's always heading towards trees. Always. That broke the locomotive off. I think we got it. Yep, got the train passenger car. Halfway through our ammunition now, but we got it. So that's the locomotive free. Now strafe down the train. Yeah, let's not do that again. You're lucky I don't have bombs. Alright, so I dare say this is probably the town we're heading towards. And that does look like the station the train would have gone to. So, we just continue south. No train lines, but we do have vehicles on the road. They look like cloth-back trucks. Ah, there's a railway line crossing, and it looks like it's been destroyed. It looks like there's derailed carriages there as well. So the trucks are probably there. to unload the remains of that train. We can't have that. trucks together. Two more on the road coming in. We nearly had a cannon at the moment. Always bloody trees. Always bloody trees where I don't want them. Come on, guns. Three trucks there now. Let's see if we'll be stacking up on that first one that is straight. Lining up perfectly on a bloody tree. That's cannon out. 
down to this MG. I haven't actually destroyed any of them then either. That one exploded. Well, this is our last waypoint before we go home, so I might as well dump the rest of the guns in. And we'll sprint our way out. Now I have been telling my wingmates to go and attack ground targets, but they seem more interested in following me around, so... explosion on that one and I reckon I've got enough for one more pass and we will be done oh apparently I got two of them then There's only one truck there that isn't dark at the moment, and that's that one. And that's it. MG is out. So, and we're heading east. Flaps up. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We go home. We've got no ammo left. Let's go check out our new base. This communion over there. And I do believe this will be our new airfield. Stacks of buildings on the edges, open large area, that is definitely an airfield. Alright. Three corners. Alright, I can approach from this side, green flare up. Yep, that's our landing point. So, let's start slowing it down, we've got a bit of speed on here. coming in from the south because it seems to be the most open area. All flat. Bank in. Landing gear down. Right, 250 currently. And flaps are full. Gotta wish I had another axis that I could bind the uh, flap lever to. Gotta fresh out. Two hundred. The sense a little hard. Power, make it work. Little zero. Oh, a little bouncy. Maybe a little fast. Alright ladies and gents, so that concludes mission 10. So, the results for both of these missions. Mission number 9 was two air kills before I tanked my own engine by just simply pushing it too hard. My fault, but I wasn't going to cut it out. That was a mistake that I made, and that should be in there. Thankfully, we had a spare aircraft flying around, so I could do Mission 10. Mission 10 was two railway carriages destroyed, two trains technically disabled, at least for the short period of time, at the very least, a delay in supplies. 
with five trucks total destroyed. Now the ones that I was directly killed and then a few others detonated as I was flying away. So they're obviously damaged on fire and they finished themselves off. But of course, most importantly, recon mission completed and we have managed to return to base. There's only actually a few missions left in this, so uh, this should be wrapped up fairly soon. I think the next one I'm actually going to do one of the new World War One campaigns for Flying Circus because that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun in VR. I've still got some tweaking to do with the editing. I definitely have to play around with my audio. Unfortunately, there wasn't much I could do about it after I'd already recorded this, but uh, I will be doing some additional tweaking. The mod mic at least has some options that I can clean up. It's not that clean yet, but I am working on it. Hopefully the next one will be better and I'll have a chance to do some more sound testing. Anyways, guys, until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and until next time, fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the skies.